Hello, I'm Herm Gailey. We're here on a drizzly day uh, to talk about something that should be short and simple. In fact, some s smart guy is going to say should only take about 10 seconds. What we're going to talk about today is how to say woe to your horse. Now, you could say it's easy. You just say woe. End of video. But there's a little bit of mechanics involved to having a really effective verbal woe on your horse. So what I'm going to do is ride around here. Now, you'll notice I said woe about three times and he didn't respond. When they hear it embedded in conversation, it doesn't work the same way. So periodically, probably everybody's going to enjoy this, I'll stop running my mouth, let his mind get clean, and then I'll say the word to him. What we're talking about in part is not just the response to woe, but how you actually say that word. Because here's what happens. You're riding around any gate and you say woe. When you say woe fast like that, Two things are going to happen. Your horse is going to react more quickly. Now that superficially seems good because you want your horse to come right to a stop. But what tends to happen is if a horse is broke and they hear that word and it's said in a short, abrupt way, they'll react by instantly stopping motion in the middle of a stride. They can come down on their front end, come down on their back end, come down sort of in the middle, and it often results in a horse that just sort of stops, dead stop like they're in four-wheel drive. So if you go, whoa, your horse is probably going to be more inclined to jam into the ground. So that's one reason not to say, whoa, quickly, abrupt, abruptly. Now, if you're going in a stall, and a horse comes at you with his ears pinned and he's going to rip your heart out, I would say, whoa, real damn quick. Don't say, whoa, because he's going to already have taken you apart. Better yet, jump out the door and close the damn thing. There are other times when whoa means stop right now. It always means stop right now, but it doesn't mean jam in the ground. Second reason not to say whoa abruptly. It is human nature that our bodies and our voices are linked. So almost inevitably, if you walk around and say the word quickly, your hand is going to move more quickly. Whoa. And you're going to make more abrupt, a ruder contact with your horse's mouth. Whereas if you draw the word out, your hand will move more slowly and you'll make a, a more polite, more effective contact with your horse's mouth. So I'll just walk him around here and I'll say the word in a proper way. And you can see that I'm thinking about it now, but if you're not thinking about it, believe me, this will be automatic. You say, whoa, fast, your hand moves fast. You say, whoa, more slowly, your hand will in all probability move more slowly. Whoa. And you see how he just, he took a heartbeat to get his legs arranged and then he stopped. I always allow my horse that heartbeat to get themselves in position to stop better instead of stop right this instant. Again, if there was a rattlesnake up there, I'd say, whoa! Now, he's, he, he didn't even know what the hell that was. Plus, there was no rattlesnake there. But there are times when you're going to have to say the word quickly and move your hands quickly, but for training purposes, not so much. One other thing in terms of how and when you say whoa well, in your sequence of cues, if you're going along here and you're going to stop your horse, you want your first cue to be the verbal one Give him a chance to react before you engage your hands. Whoa. 
So he was already stopped by the time I just took the slack out of the reins. That's what you want. If all you do is say whoa and simultaneously activate your hands, they're going to stop off that combination of cues. They're not going to learn to stop purely off the reins being down or off the whoa cue. So I'll trot him around here a little bit with a real sloppy rein, say the word to him. Whoa. And you get a decent stop out of the deal. So that sequence is important. Saying it slowly is important. And if you do it that way, you're going to be more satisfied with the way your horse stops. And it works, you know, in all different gates. Now my pen's really wet. Whoa. So I said, whoa, I said it slowly, probably not as slowly as I should have. He came up underneath himself. He was stopped before my hands made contact. And that's really what you're after. So if you bear those things in mind, that whoa cue will be more meaningful as you work your way into more advanced maneuvers, like stopping from a lope or a gallop. Whoa. So that gives you the opportunity to just balance him with your hands after you've said the word and you've said it slowly. So hopefully that'll give you a little food to th for thought. These are the tiny little grains of sand that add up. So, uh, that 10 second video took a couple of minutes. Uh, hopefully it'll help you. If it does, you're welcome to it. Thanks.